Today's video is sponsored by One Football. Get all the latest updates from the Premier League and hundreds of other top fixtures from around the world, as well as the latest scores, videos, fixtures, stats, and more for everything related to football. Link is in the description. Okay, so I picked this up um, from Best Buy, by the way, if uh, any of you guys are wondering, and uh, it was a pretty good deal. I got it on sale, it was a doorbuster, um, and it, you know, spec-wise, pretty solid. I'll show you guys that in just a second. So it comes with a gaming keyboard, it comes with a gaming mouse, a power cord, a manual, software discs, even though it has no optical drive, so it kind of makes it pointless. Um, but, you know, I've got a, I've already got a keyboard and a mouse, so it doesn't matter too much. Now, uh, I'm also going to be installing this, which is a 500 gig SSD um, M.2, so it's the small little baby ones, but very, very fast. Um, we've also got 32 gig of RAM that's going to be going in here. It has 16, but these are just far better. And uh, it's DDR4 2666 megahertz RGB type RAM, so it should be good fun. Uh, this has tempered glass, by the way, down the side of it, so obviously be careful uh, when you're unboxing it or playing around with it, unscrewing it and all that. Be careful you don't do anything with it, but it does mean you'll get to see all the lovely colors shining through when you've got it rolling. Okay, so I've zoomed in for you guys to have a look at the actual specs of this machine. It has an Intel Core i7, 8700, 6 core, 3.2 gigahertz, with a 4.6 turbo. It's got an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2070 with 8 gigs of video RAM. So that should be pretty solid to play most games on high, etc. Uh, 16 gig of RAM, that doesn't matter. We are going to take that out and upgrade it. A terabyte of uh, SSD. And then obviously I'm going to add the 500 as well. High performance air cooling, integrated Wi-Fi if you want that. I'll have mine connected via LAN. Uh, Windows 10 Home Edition, 12 months premium warranty service and lifetime technical support. Okay, so let's uh, let's just get to it, shall we? Let's finally unbox this thing and uh, see what it is all about. Um, yeah, I just honestly, I got sick of, you know, the laptops and I don't really use my laptop as a laptop. That's the problem that I have. I mean, I basically use it as a computer because it just sits in my office all day, every day. So I thought, you know what, let's just buy ourselves an actual tower and not have to worry too much about that in the future because we can just go ahead and upgrade it. So this is the uh, the keyboard you get from the get-go. So there it is, uh, I buy power AR, A-Res, A-Res, E1. Um, it looks decent enough, you know, it's got the functions, but I've actually got a decent one, so I'm not gonna worry about using that. There's also uh, a mouse down here somewhere, I believe. Be a good idea to try and actually find it, wouldn't it? Uh, well, we've got goodies as well, so we'll have a look at those in just a second. Nothing too, uh, too crazy there. And then finally, yeah, there is a mouse. Come on, boy. Down here. So this is... Uh, this mouse actually isn't bad. It is um, a Zeus E2. It's actually a pretty decent mouse from what I know. But, you know, I have one already. And I like my mouse to be kind of silent. Um, or mice. So there we go. That's uh, pretty much the goodies you get in it. So let's pull this out and uh, have a closer look. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so there he is out of the box. Now, this does light up. This is an RGB light. You also get a remote control, which I'll show you guys in a second, in the packaging if you want to change it. You know, there's a couple of options, strobe, red, green, yellow, blue, anything on the rainbow, basically. You can change the lighting there. And I will pan it round uh, so you guys can see uh, the different ports that we have. Looking around the side, uh, this is obviously the tempered glass section where you will see all the components they do a good job of packaging this actually um, before I unscrew it I'll just I'll just go around the, the sections of the computer itself uh, but they give you a little bit of information about what to do steps one two three it's pretty standard very very simple uh, and then around the back a selection of different ports and everything else I uh, obviously got the power cord down there uh, the graphics card is right here. They have actually disabled the graphics card from the motherboard in this unit, so you won't be able to connect HDMI via that unless you go into the BIOS and uh, enable it. Uh, but you don't really need to because you have a selection of ports. They actually put these nice little covers in there as well um, just to protect them. But I believe you have a couple of display ports. You've got an HDMI, 
Um, you've got like a USB-C in there as well. And there's a whole bunch of USBs here. Obviously you've got your microphone and all that fun stuff. Uh, four USB 3, which is nice to have. And then you've got the usual ports as well. I mean, it's it's your pretty standard uh, connections for this day and age. And then round this side is absolutely nothing. So there it is. There's the unit itself. Let's now remove uh, the glass and uh, have a look at the guts of this machine. Okay, so I've laid him down because I'm not taking any gambles. Uh, it's obviously better to, to lay him down on the side when you're going to play around with any kind of uh, tempered glass because if it hits something it will probably smash which you don't want so let's unscrew the little screws they're very simple they can be done with your hands which is the uh, the luxury of them never over tighten these as well you know as i said this is glass once it hits the rubber there stop don't need to screw that all the way in and break it so we'll take this off and rest that somewhere uh, nicely i don't know where but somewhere okay so now it comes with this inside it um for protection purposes that's why they put that in there so you can just go ahead and remove it um you know that's that's good to go now there it is there is the inside i will show you guys in just a second of how it looks but um yeah it certainly looks the part it's, it's very, the one thing i like about this just from here and i don't know if you guys can see actually i probably should tilt it up so you guys can see it um let's, let's actually move him back a bit what i like about this unit is the amount of space is in here you can add fans you can change different parts the cable management is really nicely done as well uh, you've got your SATA you know SSD down here you've got the graphics card obviously there uh, the CPU behind the fan the motherboard uh, if you want to add another SSD that goes right here as well uh, but you do have to take out the graphics card if you want to put in the M.2 SSD because the slot is behind this one so uh, yeah we'll go ahead and do that right now okay so this is the uh the ssd as you can see it's slightly different to a normal uh, sata drive it's uh, an m.2 so you slot that in there and there's a little screw you'll put in the side of it uh, that will go obviously into the motherboard uh, so this goes straight into the motherboard gives you the extra space you need and it's a lot faster as well so i'm going to take you on and off of the stand so you guys can kind of see where i'm going and what i'm doing i thought i'd just take you through the process of, of what's happening here and uh, yeah hopefully you guys can see with the light and let's dive into it okay so this is obviously the the whole cpu and uh, motherboard and graphics card so this needs to come out because that's where that thing right there needs to go so we'll take a couple of these screws out and we'll literally just pop this graphics card out once that's been done we'll grab our ram and we will replace these two uh, with what we have and then add the other extra two as well and that will give us the rgb so it will be lighting up and i'll show you guys that uh, when we get a chance so let me unscrew these bad boys and uh, take out this graphics card okay so there's the graphics card um absolute beast look at that what a whopper um so he's out and about i actually took the wrong screw out absolute wally so um <laughs> decided to take the one next to the graphics card and couldn't pull it out so don't do that but anyway we'll put this to the side now uh, and that way we can go in here and add that ssd okay so now we're going to put the ssd into uh, obviously the, the motherboard itself uh, there is a standoff screw down here i don't know if you guys can see i've tried my best with the camera uh, but there's a bit of a standoff screw there to stop it from obviously resting on the motherboard which is not what you want so we're going to slot him in very slowly make sure he gets in that groove there we go and uh, he's basically just going to rest in there um, and then we take this tiny little screw which is i actually had to buy these separate apparently because they didn't come with it and screw him in and then he's good to go so let's do it okay so he's in god i, I hate i hate screws that small because it's such a pain in the ass to get in but there we go he's sorted so as you guys can see now there it is okay if i can actually get him in the shot there he is so he goes right there the graphics card is going to be going right next to him and um, so that's what i remove first i put in the ssd there uh, the other ssd is down here so now we have uh, 1.5 terabytes in this machine which is nice so now let's uh yeah let's add the graphics card back in actually before we do that let's put in the ram uh, because there's a little bit more freedom there to, to put these in what with um the graphics card being quite enormous it takes up you know quite a bit of space so here we go 
this is what we've gone for. These are Corsair. I mean, I'll, if you guys want me to link any of these products that I bought in the description, I'll be more than happy to go ahead and do that. But there they are, in a nutshell. Bang. They do color, light up, bit of RGB action. I mean, everyone likes the fanciness these days, don't they? So that's what we've gone for. Um, so yeah, that is... Uh, I'll just show you one of these. Because they are kind of cool. I should, probably shouldn't be picking up like that. Um, so yeah, there it is. It's actually quite large. They are quite big. But you can actually pull this off if you just want to have the light coming through here. Uh, if you want kind of a, a more of a, a, a grid effect, uh, you can put this on. So the choice is yours. Now when you put these in, make sure you obviously put them in the right way. They can't really go both ways because they are slightly off center. Uh, these go like that. So just make sure you do that when you whip them in. So let's put these bad boys in, but obviously first take out the old ones. Okay, so let's pop these out. Um, very simple if you guys know how to do RAM. I mean, you literally pull that tab there, pull that one, uh, and these will simply come out of their slots. Never give too much welly, but you can see the difference of how small these are um, <laughs> just compare to the size of these ones. I mean, absolutely massive. So, but they are the same specs. I did obviously go for the same specs. I'll actually probably give these to my brother. So, you know, he can have some free RAM. He likes to build his own stuff as well. So there we go. So those are out, brilliant. And uh, let's just open these up. If you are only putting two in, make sure you only put them in, uh, they have to go in slot one and three or two and four. They never go next to each other. It's always uh, sort of one or three or two or four. And it only tells you anyway, on your motherboard. So let's put these in. They do go this way. Um, the, the wire is kind of a little bit in the way here for this one, so this is probably going to be a bit of a tight fit. We will slot these in. Like I said, they only go in one way. Don't force them, but you will hear a click. There it is. Um, from both sides. And that one's in there. And uh, we'll just go ahead and add the other three. So there we have it. The uh, four rams are in. They are actually pretty close to each other, to be honest. But that's because the, the top of them is just massive. I mean, that's the way they've designed them. Uh, but there's, you know, there's still room there for uh, the fan and the wire's fine. So uh, everything looks good. So now, yeah, let's finally put in that graphics card and then officially all the upgrades will be complete. Okay, so he is in there now. Um, now we just obviously put the screws in on the side, uh, but we obviously have to make sure you do plug these back in Otherwise, there'll be no juice running through to uh, the graphics card itself. You've got to love computers, haven't you? They're so finicky. I've only actually ever built one. Uh, me and my brother did it together. Never, ever, ever had I built a computer before. And we spent a whole day doing it. And we learned a lot. But I can't say I enjoyed it that much. <laughs> it was just such a long process. It was unreal. All right, so let's now screw these in and we are good to go. Okay, so everything is done, officially complete. And uh, obviously I wanted to do all that before you turn the thing on. I probably should have tested that it works beforehand, but that's fine, fingers crossed. So let's put the uh, the cover back on it very nice and slowly. Uh, these are very simple. That's, that's what I do like about these is the fact that there's no sliding or anything. You just you drop it on the top and it's uh, it's all good to go. We should probably take this off as well, seeing as uh, we don't need this anymore. It's just a bit of information. So we'll peel that off. Uh, there is actually a bit of tape on here as well, protection. So you can go ahead and peel that away as we reveal this bad boy. Now, I know what people are saying. Well, why didn't you just go ahead and, and build your own? Honestly, for the price of this, for what I got it, I think I got this for like 1200 and something. It's not bad considering the specs of this thing. You know, it can run any game pretty much on max. And, um, you know, I've just, I don't, like I said, I don't have the time to sit there, buy all these parts, and make myself a whole computer. It's just, it takes me too long. So, this is my best bet. And uh, hopefully it works out quite nicely. So let's screw these in. Not going to do them too tight. Don't need to be. And uh, yeah, then I'm going to plug him in. Show you guys this guy in action with all the fun lights. And all will be good. And I'll also show you the keyboard and the mouse that came with it. In case you guys are curious about that. 
because I haven't done that yet either. Okay, so he's been plugged in and uh, he's ready to roll. So let's hit that power button and see what happens. So there it is. Absolutely beautiful. I should probably turn off the lights so you guys can see this uh, a little bit more. I'm probably holding a mic, so it's a bit of a pain in the backside. Uh, let's see if we can reach. There we go. Beautiful. So there he is, whirring away. And this is the remote control that you have with it. So you can change it to red. You can change it to blue or green. Sorry, I can't see. Um, we have blue, orange. Where's orange? Sort of an orangey tint. Uh, you can see the, uh, the RAM itself. And I'll, I'll zoom you in in just a second. Um, you can even have him sort of change between all the different colors. Uh, and you can, the one I like is kind of the fading one. That's, that is pretty cool. So let's zoom you guys in so you can have a, a, a close up. Uh, there he is. So this RGB uh, RAM is actually, there he is right there. You can change him within the settings uh, of the computer itself. So you can go in there um, if you want and, and tweak that. Now, if we have a look at the front of this thing, um, you can see the lights are there as well. So there we have it. I'm just trying to, I'm trying to move around here without killing myself. So that changes as well. So that will go through all the different colors. Um, it's just nice to have, isn't it? It's all for show. It's nothing more than that. Um, but there we go. Looking fantastic. Now I'll show you guys quickly the keyboard and the mouse. Okay, so this is the mouse that came with it. As I say, it's not a bad little mouse, to be honest. Uh, you've got the, the forward, the back. This, for me, is always a necessity. Always a necessity in any mouse to have a forward and a back button because I hate going to the browser and having to hit back, etc. Uh, it does have uh, a DPI button as well, so you can change that on the fly. Obviously, a nice scroll wheel and a uh, you know, pretty good click to it as well. I'm guessing it may light up. I don't know. I haven't tried it. I probably could plug it in and look, but yeah, uh, yeah, I'm not going to be using these anyway. Uh, but that's the mouse. It is quite nice and feels good. This is the keyboard that it comes with. Um, I've tried using this on my desk, which is is a right mess. Don't even look at it. It just slides all over the place, um, so I can't even use it. But you know, it's got color coded uh, WSAD, obviously for movement in shooting games, etc. It's got a lot of different you know hotkeys up here for you to play with and play, pause, all that fun stuff. It's a decent, a decent um, keyboard. So, you know, if, if you get it with it and you're looking for something, there we go. And the other stuff that does come with it, just bits and bobs, really, a quick start guide, a free gift um, from iBuyPower. And uh, this is the antennae, or the antenna that you'll get. You'll simply plug that in back here uh, if you want to use Wi-Fi. I'm not going to worry about it. And then you get some DVDs and some discs, which are completely pointless because this thing doesn't even come with an optical drive. We'll finish this off by showing you guys the... Uh, the ports, so you guys want to check those out. There's your four USBs, uh, 3.0s. Um, you do have actually two over here, as you can see. So on the top, you have two USBs. You've got your microphone, your headphone jack, your power on button. I'm not quite sure what that one is. Um, I don't know, actually. I have to figure that one out. And then as you come down, you do have your different outputs here for your, uh, your graphics card. I apologize if it's too dark. Um, I've got a display port, a couple of them on my monitors now, so I can plug those in. Um, and that's about it. And obviously you've got your power down here as well. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That is the big man. Now, if I get him set up real quick and get him hooked up to the monitors, what I will do is run a test and show you guys what this thing can run technically, uh, what kind of games and specs it does have. Anyway, I'll see you guys in just a second. Otherwise, hope you guys have enjoyed this video. It's something different. Um, it took a lot of work and I'm sweating, but it's good to see it's up and running. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. So, uh, yeah, I've been testing out the computer now for a couple of days. Um, I wanted to give a bit of a test before I came back and said, is it any good? Is it any of this, that, and the other? And I have to say, you know, it's been fantastic. It really has been quick, quiet, speedy, no problems with it at all, which honestly is what you would expect. Obviously, having the extra RAM helps and the, uh, the other SSD, but generally, you know, the CPU, the GPU have done brilliant stuff. Uh, managed to render a video as well, you know, 9, 10 gig in size, you know, under 15 minutes, which is perfect for me, because I do obviously upload a lot of videos, a lot of content, uh, and that's primarily what I'm doing, um, you know, when it comes to 
editing, uploading, etc. So uh, let's quickly have a look at here on uh, can you run it. What I did was go ahead and uh, just click on how many games can I run. Uh, it gives you a bit of a test or an idea of sort of the games you can run from the website. I mean, I don't know how accurate this is, um, but, you know, it's a bit of an idea. After this, we'll also run uh, user benchmark. Do a quick test here and I'll uh, show you guys the stats and statistics of what they say about the computer itself. Uh, so as you can see here from uh, the games, uh, minimum requirements 99.9% .9 of games and 99.7% or recommended or above, which is pretty darn good. Uh, some of these don't really have a recommended for whatever purpose, but you can see this machine is pretty much going to run whatever you want it to on high, even max. I mean, it shouldn't really have a problem. Uh, if you go to rank my computer as well, I did a test for this. Uh, it said the processor was ranked 2.845646 million uh, out of 2.814754. So, I mean, that's pretty damn good. 98th percentile. And the graphics card itself was ranked 99th percentile. 1.824643 um, million ranked out of 1.814503. So it's that much better than all the others. So, I mean, it, it's it's solid, isn't it? That's what we're getting to here. It's a solid piece of kit. All right, so let's do a little bit more of an in-depth test. Um, this will give us a better idea uh, running this file. So let me just go ahead and let this do its business, and then I'll show you guys the end results. Okay, so the uh, the test is finished, as you can see. So this is what we have. Now, the PC status isn't the best. I mean, it says overall this PC is performing as expected. 45th percentile. Uh, that means out of 100 with the same components, 55 perform better. Now, this see, this CPU or this, this computer itself, it doesn't have the best sort of motherboard in the world. Uh, so the individual components aren't amazing, but they work well in tandem. Because if you have a look at the processor... Um, finally, with a gaming score of 104%, the CPU stability or suitability for 3D gaming is outstanding. Um, it demolishes everyday tasks such as web browsing, office apps, blah, blah, blah. The graphics card itself is there. The boot drive is a very good SSD score, as we know, because we did upgrade that. Uh, 32 gigs of RAM to run any version of Windows is far more than any current game requires, of course. And you've got Windows 10. So there we go. I mean, you've got your gaming 104%. Desktop 95%, workstation is 90%. So pretty good. Um, and you can go down here and kind of have a look at where we are and play around with stuff. And just it's quite interesting, isn't it, to look uh, at the at the stuff you have. So if you guys are wondering exactly what I'm running, um, I mean that's the thing. You can also add up kind of how much these are. I mean I don't know how accurate these prices are to be honest. But you know 270 here, 550 here, 125 here, 128 here. Um, you know, for the price I pay for this thing, is is it's pretty good because I'm not building it myself, and that's exactly why I, I did this because I don't want to spend the time building it. I just want something that works, runs well, is efficient, um, and is no problem. So uh, there we have it. That's pretty much it, ladies and gentlemen. Um, just wanted to give you guys a bit of a rundown. I have to say, it's worked out rather nicely for me. I have to say, it's been impressive does the business i mean this is the uh, the motherboard as you can see that needs a little bit of work but when you add the components with it no problem at all anyway i hope you guys did enjoy it and uh, we will be back shortly with more pez content if you guys don't know my channel that's what it's all about a bit of pez a bit of football a bit of gameplay and a bit of commentary but until next time hope you guys did enjoy it and take care